President Trump and President Xi Jinping of China at a welcome ceremony in Beijing today. Doug Milster, New York Times, Good Morning. Here's what you need to know in China, Trump tries flattery, President Trump, on a state visit to Beijing, heaped praise on President Xi Jinping today and said that the US and China had the power to liberate the world from the North Korean menace, Mr. Trump also vowed to redress chronic trade imbalances, framing them as a failure of American policy. He even saluted China for leaving the U.S. so far behind, one big challenge closing China's booming drug bazaars, which contribute to the American opioid crisis. Election fallout, the Democratic victories in state and local elections on Tuesday were partly fueled by a rising coalition of women and minorities, our reporters found. Leaders in both parties said the elections were an alarm bell for Republicans ahead of the 2018 campaign. But Democrats won't always have the luxury of competing in such favorable districts, our upshot columnist writes, in videos, we hear from some of the election day winners, and ask people who voted for Donald Trump to tell us how they feel about his presidency one year later. Another look at taxes, Senate Republicans are expected to unveil their tax legislation today. It will most likely diverge from the House plan by eliminating the ability to deduct state and local taxes, and by stopping short of fully repealing the estate tax. Our columnist looks at how the House plan, presented as a bill for the middle class, provides for private school tax breaks. How might all this affect you? We crunch the numbers. Texas church shooting was recorded, video of Devin Kelly's deadly rampage in a Baptist church in Sutherland Springs, Tex is said to show a methodical attack, in which he fired quickly and paused only to reload. Investigators are analyzing the footage. After the massacre that left 26 dead, the cemetery in Sutherland Springs is straining to bury so many, readers affected by previous mass killings shared advice for fellow survivors. Political problems in Europe, in Britain, the government of Prime Minister Theresa May has suffered a series of setbacks as it grapples with decisions on the country's departure from the European Union. The International Development Secretary, Priti Patel became the second cabinet minister to quit in a week, after she held a dozen unauthorized meetings with Israeli officials. Our correspondent in Germany looked at the challenges facing Chancellor Angela Merkel as she tries to form a coalition government that spans the political spectrum. One analyst gave Ms. Merkel a two-to-one chance of success. The Daily Lessons from Virginia, we discuss election results with Stephen Bannon, President Trump's former chief strategist. Listen on a computer, an iOS device or an Android device. Business The Trump administration is said to have called on Time Warner to sell assets, potentially including CNN, as a condition of its at merger. Uber's Dara Khosrowshahi will give his first public interview since he took the helm of the embattled rider-hailing giant at our Deal Book annual conference today. Check our site for coverage. U.S. stocks were up on Wednesday. Here's a snapshot of global markets. Smarter living tips, both new and old, for a more fulfilling life, the biggest video games and consoles this holiday season we have a guide, when giving to charity, research can make a big difference, recipe of the day forget their usual sides and make sweet and sour cauliflower. Noteworthy hearing the digital future. In today's 360 video, join Jaron Lanier, a virtual reality pioneer, as he discusses his obsession with music, partisan writing you should nt miss. Writers from across the political spectrum discuss the election results, imagining the future of cars. The Times magazine has devoted an entire issue to the question of autonomous cars and the future they could usher in, two weeks to Thanksgiving. You don't have to cook your meal in one day, on four burners and in one oven. But we can show you how, falling in love is good for you. A neuroscientist is studying the health benefits of romance. Her most persuasive evidence may be herself, signs of strain over Catalan independence. A general strike on Wednesday had relatively limited impact, and the two main Catalan separatist parties said that they would not campaign together in next month's election. Kevin Spacey, cut. Scenes in the completed movie All the Money in the World featuring the actor, who is facing sexual assault allegations, will be reshot with Christopher Plummer, best of late night TV. Trevor Noah was amazed at how quickly President Trump distanced himself from Ed Gillespie. Quotation of the day, never would I have imagined waking up one day and finding myself behind bars, charged with murdering the man I love, Angelica Griswold, who pleaded guilty to sabotaging her fiancé's kayak shortly before he drowned in the Hudson River, and who was sentenced on Wednesday to 16 months to four years in jail. Backstory news of a butter shortage in France spurred newsroom chatter about one of the country's signature treats the croissant. 
The last time we discussed the subject at such length may have been 2013, when the cronut burst onto the scene, fresh from the New York bakery of Dominique Ansel. It's a franken-pastry hybrid of a croissant and a donut. Preparing croissants at a bakery in Nice, France. Eric Gaylard Reuters but the croissant, it turns out, was always a hybrid. According to local law and the Larousse Gastronomique, it was created in Budapest in 1686, or Vienna in 1683, to celebrate the defeat of the Ottomans, and was later adopted by the French. The crescent shape, the story goes, was inspired by the Ottoman flag. We asked the head of our cooking department, Sam Sifton, for a recipe, but it turns out we're still working on one. We haven't yet developed one that's really, truly accessible to the home cook, he told us. Croissants are hard, here's his advice, we find the best ones we can at the bakery, eat a few and let the rest go a little stale, so we can use them in Melissa Clark's incredible recipe for a buttery breakfast casserole. It may be the highest use of a croissant in the world, Karen Zareyak contributed reporting, underscore 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 your morning briefing is published weekdays at 6 a.m. Eastern and updated all morning. Browse past briefings here. If photographs appear out of order, please download the updated New York Times app from iTunes or Google Play. What would you like to see here? Contact us at briefing at nighttimes.com. You can get the briefing dirt to your inbox Sunday through Friday. We have four global editions, timed for the Americas, Europe, Asia and Australia, and an evening briefing on weeknights. Check out our full range of free newsletters here. Follow Mark A. Walsh on Twitter at mawalsh40.